everyone, welcome to Sketch a Day Live. I think I'm live. New setup. I'm always I'm always changing stuff. Hopefully you can hear me okay. All that good stuff. New mic finally hooked up and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go for about two hours today. I felt like uh, felt like going a bit longer than usual. And I'm gonna do something fun. It is sci-fi Sunday today. So I'll be doing all things sci-fi, weird, all that good stuff. Hopefully it sounds all right, all that good stuff. I can't really hear myself, which I suppose is a bit problematic. All right. So at least the Instagrammers can hear some sound and all that. What's up, Dave, Latrice, Emma, derivative of Senpi, Senpai. Hello, Emma Violin Covers. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you, Noyana. Welcome back. And Alexis, we got... Seisman here so welcome to all of you just want to say before we begin memberships have been launched on the channel so that gets you access to the sketches that i upload to the members folder on google drive um you can sign up for a level that'll get you copies of the sketch signed with a little note from me every month and you can also get stickers and a few other things so if you're interested check that out but i want to say shout out and thanks to the patrons and existing members we had two new members this week we had derek divine signed up i'll be sending him his sketches this week all right and i just wanted to look up the other name here because my brain is just a sieve my brain really is just a sieve let's see we've got federico carboni 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 Thank you as well. So we have one ultimate and one super fan. Yeah, let's go. Thank you so much for the support. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you're watching on the Instagram, you'll want to check out youtube.com slash sketchday.com. All right, <clears throat> so I'm using Procreate today. Um, I, may, I may jump into Fresco, we'll see. We'll see, we're just having some fun here. And again, if you want the full experience, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Go to YouTube, you'll get the full output here. the mic all right you should be able to hear me now right i can crank it up a little bit should be working now <clears throat> let me know yeah i forgot to uh i forgot to add the source in so it's this program and you like switch scenes and all sorts of stuff Sounds complicated, but it's not that complicated. I just neglected to um, I neglected to add my source to my scene. There's a couple of things I can do here, so bear with me. We'll get it right. We'll get it good. Okay. Should be better now, at least. Maybe I just need to talk a little louder in the studio here. Okay, we're good. We're good. Sorry about that. All right, so just like I always do, we're going to warm up with some straight lines here. Just like so. Drawing with the shoulder, of course. All right, looks like I'm back. I may have to up the gain a bit on the My gain is basically the volume here, so I'm going to see if I can modify just so I don't have to talk super close into the mic. All right, let me know. Let me know if that's still working. Should be okay. Can also crank this up just a little bit so we get that. Yeah, yeah. It should it should sound better now. Um, but this morning, I I had to spend some time changing the setup and all that. You may hear my kids in the background now too. So, um, one of the cool things about streaming 
as I've learned, really snuggle up with that mic. <laughs> <laughs> says lines i will i will thank you um one of the cool things about streaming is you do get to you get to learn a lot of things so like video production after the fact like if you record and then you want to edit your sound that's a whole different experience in game than if you are streaming live and doing live production it's a lot different so and I used to, uh, I don't know if you guys remember. In fact, maybe I'll pull up the picture and show you at some point. But um, I used to have to like do a whole switch every time I went from recording to live. But my studio now is geared toward. So yeah, today is just really chill, really chill. You can throw suggestions out, whatever. I'm going to show you something cool I like to do with my kids. Um, and if you guys have kids, you can do this as well. Um, and I may, I may have a challenge for you guys later on as well um, that we can do next time. So once again, if you're watching on the Instagram, definitely uh, check out the YouTube. I'm just telling you it's a better experience. All right. All right. Let's do some ellipses here. And I'm just using a rough spencil from my mega pack of brushes. You can find those on my website if you're interested. Some of you have them, I know. Hopefully you're liking them, but that's sketchaday.com. And if you don't like them, honestly, like I've given people refunds where I'm like, they're like, yeah, I don't really like these and or they have an issue or whatever. And I'm happy to make it right. I stand by my my stuff, so if you ever have any issues, feel free to feel free to let me know. All right, YouTubers, how does it sound now? I'm curious. How does it sound? Let me know. I did. I I spent like 45 minutes doing a test stream this morning as well. There's really no audio mixing control on YouTube itself. You kind of have to do it in whatever app you're on. So that's that's one of the challenges for sure faux show so I'm just playing with some gain controls here it's kind of crude and rudimentary it might pick up some background noise but um, hopefully the music smooths things out a little bit silky smooth better be this mic was really expensive <laughs> I like the sound it sounded fine so all right so warmed up with some ellipses so the thing I like to do with my kids is I'll have them build something out of Legos like this for example this is my youngest son created created this thing so some, sometimes when they when they have an interest in creation I'll actually take this and then draw over it all right and then I had a friend make uh, another Lego creation so the challenge we're gonna do not next time but sometime is I'll have you guys just build something out of Legos and then let's see just don't want to get that mic in the way of the Instagrammers. So I may have you build something and then I'll draw over it. It's kind of fun. So let's go ahead and just, just make some rough cuts here using the selection tool. And then I'm going to warp, transform, modify, chop. We're going to chop and screw this bad boy. I should have, I should have, uh, Tried to find some chopped and screwed music for free or something that I could play. But again, YouTube is like ruthless when it comes to copyright stuff. Let's see. Cut and paste. We're going to cut that out of the layer. Um, if you're wondering how to do that, that's just swiping down with three fingers, guys. So once I have a selection made, so let's see. If I make a selection like that, I can swipe down with my three fingers and then it pulls up this menu that lets me do a bunch of stuff related to uh, the drawing. So just a little tip for you if you're using Procreate, that's one of the things you can do. All right. I'm actually going to edit the video description here. I wonder if this will work. Just so people know, I'm using Procreate 5X today. That's what we're doing. All things weird and sci-fi. Okay, so just a little tip for you. 
as you're working. And now I can place this on a page. If I were putting this in a scene, um, I would, you know, have other stuff here if I want to like combine things. Now at least I have something here I can use. So we can scale this one down, maybe uh, duplicate this layer, All right? And let's go ahead and bring this back here. And I'm just gonna like basically, uh, kit bash is the wrong word, but oops, I didn't wanna do that. I wanted to duplicate, let's duplicate. Um, but basically I just wanna like combine these into something, right? So let's rearrange our layers now. We got this on on the front. Uh, this one I want to have in the in the back here. Can move these around. We can even scale them as well for purposes of perspective. So sometimes I'll do this with my kids, right? And then let's group these. We can move, transform. Procreate does a funny thing, by the way. If you transform and then hit OK, it's going to basically chop that piece off okay so you got to be a little bit careful as well so sketch a day live thanks for joining guys and i have also i'm trying to think if i want to make this like some sort of destroyer or maybe um we'll just keep we'll keep it chill today we'll keep it chill we'll keep it just as a little spaceship thing so now i can start to warp if I want. All right, we can play with some of these shapes even. Maybe elongate a little bit. If we want to curve it, we could. Um, you get to decide what you want. And now I'm going to pick these. Let's just group them. I always forget I can't adjust the opacity of the group itself. So that is one thing that... Um, have I heard about the Mandalorian too? I have, I have. I'm excited for that. Hello, Marzi, thanks for joining. Yeah, so I can combine these and now, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Um, Adobe Fresco, for example, and I'm sure other apps, but Adobe Fresco in particular that I use, you can actually adjust the opacity of the whole layer itself, but for some reason, um, I can't do that here in Procreate. So to do that, to get around it, I'm just gonna hit flatten, which removes some of the editability, but at least now, and the cool thing too, is I have some tones here already, placement of elements, so I can just make a new layer now. And let's take our, our rough spencil. I'm gonna go with a, a fine spencil, a very fine spencil. Do I have color blindness? I do not. Not sure if I did something to uh, make people question if I have color blindness, but okay. All right. Maybe, did I do something? <laughs> so peculiar, all right. So here, now I'm just gonna take some of these shapes. I'll, pro I'll probably need to do some some rough sketch. I do like the cockpit area here. Um, but now I can start to make some changes, right? So even this little jog of a line. There's things my boy did not add in. You know, perhaps if this is some cockpit. I'm going to assume this is a human vessel. Certainly not an alien craft feels a little too too human now I can add some just some details here cool thing too is like if you take the picture at the right um, focal length you could put a white layer over the top of the group and lowers transparency yeah I could do that that's a good idea that is a good idea I'm doing great, Oliver. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, Utkarsh? Hello. So once again, if you're watching on the YouTube, I keep saying this, but especially um, 
if you're really into drawing, it just makes sense. It's better to see the full thing than have to imagine. What does this look like, really? But yes, special thanks once again to the wonderful, wonderful patrons. I'm going to throw some lines here just to correct because I move so quickly. All right, I'm just going to correct some of this perspective stuff that I have going on. Just some really light lines as the photo here is not totally accurate based on how I mashed it together and stuff. But it does give me a good base to work with as I'm throwing some of these these lines down. And like I said, we can just use this as a guide. So yeah, if, if you're like me and your kids have Legos and you like drawing, sometimes it's kind of fun to just take their creations. I cheat a little bit here. Take their creations and then do something with it. It's also nice because I don't have to worry too much about all the technical stuff because some of these pieces are really interesting. Like right here, I've got these little vents, for example. Kind of cool. Maybe line up some of these things. And to be clear, I'm not tracing. I'm not in here going, OK, there's a Lego piece, right? We're just using this as inspiration. So we can make whatever changes we want. All right, we can do whatever we want, which is part of what makes this at least for me, so fun and cool. And sometimes you just find interesting shapes in the shadows and forms and whatnot. I've actually done this before for professional work where I will make something out of Legos and then come back in digitally and draw or paint over it. So. If you're not good at uh, 3D programs, for example, to to make an underlay or something something like that, you can always do something like take Legos or clay or foam or whatever it is you have, make an underlay, and then redraw. So just a little fun technique for you guys today. So Sketch Today Live, thanks again. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I am. I was going to work out today and then I felt lazy. It's Sunday, right? It makes it okay. So whenever I jog lines like this, sometimes it's meant to show um, a part separation. Other times it's meant to show more of... Let's get some padding in here. Um, either part separation or a surface change. Right? That's kind of how how I like to think about it. All right, something like that. And we can even do things like on this layer below, <clears throat> if we wanted to just make this purely value, um, we can jump to our adjustments here, hue, saturation, brightness. Uh, let's do layer and then turn the saturation all the way down. Okay, or mostly down, just like that. So now we already have like values and we can build on these these values, right? Do I know how to make a patent? Uh, I'm sure I could figure it out. 
I'm sure I could figure it out. Why did my viewers just go to zero? Um, do I play an instrument? I play a little bit of guitar. I do play a little guitar. All right, so here, now I'm going to use these shapes, but rather than just take, let's just make sure we have the other side in here. Um, rather than take the same shape, I'm going to modify a little bit what we have. So even these, these vents, for example, now I'm going to modify this a little bit like so. Okay, and I do want there to be some sort of cannon. So the cannon here does not exist, All right? That does not exist, but I, I have a little peak of a cannon on that side. So let's go ahead. And again, these lines are just meant to make sure that, okay, is my perspective lining up here? left to right. All right, so we'll get back to detailing those in just a sec. The election's coming up in the United States at least. I hope you guys are registered to vote. I voted for the first time in my life. Well, I should say I filled out my ballot. I haven't mailed it in yet. I need to mail it in. So I need to get that done still. But in any case, it's pretty cool we have that opportunity. At least I do now. It's taken a taken a while to get there, but for a few reasons. But yes, I hope you guys are taking advantage of that. And we're gonna vote. Okay, so now I got to think about all right, what are what are these things? Maybe they're, you know, my boosters on the ship here. So when I get to say this point, maybe I'll go straight out instead of. Now I'm starting to feel a bit more like a freighter of some sort, which is totally fine. But maybe this is a booster. But I'll, I'll still take some of these part lines here. Have a similar feel to the, the cockpit at least. Like so. Uh, what technologies am I drawing with? I'm drawing with an iPad Pro. That's what I'm drawing with today. 12 inch iPad Pro, 12.9 inch I guess, technically. And I am using the Procreate app. It's a drawing app on the iPad. I like using the iPad. Some people hate Apple, but I mean, some of their products do suck for sure. But it is convenient. It's thin, it's light, battery lasts a long time, which I personally like. So yeah, it's a good option for me. All right, let's keep going. So today, once again, we're using we're using Lego sets to help us come up with interesting sci-fi concepts. This feels a bit like uh, I'm trying to remember that Transformer Jetstream. Almost feels a little bit like like Jetstream. So again, the cool thing here is sometimes you can just take these shapes and then just mock up whatever it is you feel this would be like, right? We don't have to follow exactly what's behind. And with the photo texture, it's gonna be really easy to just basically render this up, All right? I'll show you that as well. Got a little, got a little hairy with the lines there, so. See if I can fix some of that. Yeah, there we go. A little bit better. Um, in Procreate, you can erase with any brush, 
right? So I'm gonna pick, I just want a nice crisp brush in this instance. Like so. Do I have to detail? I don't have to detail the sketch, but I want to. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do today. But yeah, feel free to hit me up with any questions, guys, that you may have. I did a workshop this weekend that was super fun. I've got another one. Well, more like a chat that I'm doing with a university tomorrow. And I should mention the theme, if you're participating in the Sketch a Day weekly challenges, that's where your sketches have a chance to be featured on Fan Friday. The theme this week is handheld, and I'm going to be using pens. That's, that's the focus or emphasis. So we're going to go over pen drawing, pen drawing techniques, best practices, uh, learning, experimenting together as well. So a little bit of anatomy and a little bit of material exploration. So it should be a fun week. Hopefully you guys are going to be along for the ride. If you are, make sure you use hashtag sketch a day weekly. The reason I started that is challenges are fun. Feedback's even better. So if you want feedback, get your work featured on the live show. We had a big live show on Friday, actually. It was awesome. So we're going to keep it up, keep it going. Just correcting some mistakes here. And now I want to match, you know, this little jog detail, for example. Just make sure we're consistent left to right. Like so. keep this going so um, something I th something I I guess subconsciously do when I'm sketching is whatever is closer to me I'm gonna try and keep tighter whatever is further away I'm gonna make looser on the canvas all right Nick says I'm popular within the industrial design program at Western Washington thanks for posting so many tips and tricks you're welcome Nick um, yeah, if you guys ever need a workshop, have your professors contact me. I'm pretty sure I did a workshop um, with you guys. And maybe it wasn't your class, but pretty sure I did one this year there. So this is all with just one brush to start. And let's go ahead and add, just add some stuff now. Oh shoot, I didn't realize my, my laptop was streaming at the same time as well. Pens as in ballpoints or also fine liners. Um, either way, ballpoints, fine liners, doesn't matter. Just, just pen sketching, that's what we're gonna do. What's up Bradley? Things are good. As always, if you're interested in the stuff I use, you can check out that link for those materials. All right. Um, also, <laughs> maybe this will be the last time I mention this, but if you're watching on Instagram, I've got this hooked up streaming the data over the internet, a series of tubes onto the YouTube. So if you want the better stream, check that out. Alright, so now I've got my sketch layer. Um, there's probably details I'll add to this, but I'm going to keep the tone for the most part. Let's go ahead and pick some of these colors. In fact, let's up the opacity on this. Alright, so upping the opacity, you can see there's the original photo. If I 
select my brush, tap and hold on the layer. I can get some of these tones. And now what I want to do is pick, I'm going to go to my sketch a day brush pack one. I've got this nice round brush that has some opacity. I could also do this with a marker brush, but this one's a little, it's pressure sensitive and it has a nice buildup. All right. So I'm just going to go in and fill in some of these areas with some tone, just reducing the amount of work I have to do later. Okay. And if there's something that doesn't need to be there, I can just erase it just fine. Right, or if I want to add some add some stuff, whatever. I can do that. It's kind of cool. Let's see if we need to erase anything. Yep, right there. Just erase some of that. I probably should adjust my opacity instead of guessing, but I'm feeling lazy right now. All right. So at this point, let's tap. We can reduce the opacity. Uh, let's do 42% here and make a new layer. And on this new layer, I can now focus on all the bits that need to have shadow. All right, so I can come in. I can use this round brush. I could also use my marker brush. Maybe I'll use both. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. The thing with digital sketching, there's always a million ways to do the same thing. So it really just boils down to how do you feel? What are you in the mood for? I'll get rid of those Lego um, logo spots as well in just a sec. So Sketch a Day Live, thanks for joining. We're just doing some sci-fi concept art, kit bash, Lego mash, stuff up next we're going to do a vehicle uh, one of my friends actually like i mentioned did a uh their own lego creation so we're going to see if we can turn it into some sort of vehicle all right so let's get the dark so i'm getting the darks in we'll get the lights in we'll add some color pops and then we're basically done um but this is this is just how I like to draw with lines because I can work a lot faster than painting. I do paint as well, but it just takes longer. It really does. So I'm assuming the light source is on the opposite side of the ship here. That's why I'm shading these surfaces darker. Right along here, for example. And even here, definitely in this little recess. All right. So now we've got pretty quickly, right? We've got uh, got some photos that we've bashed together. Thank you, Bradley. I'm glad you enjoy it. I enjoy it, that's why I do it. All right, so now I can add some whites. Um, if you wanted to go for special or, actually, maybe I'll do this. Maybe I will do this. Let's see if I can uh, find an image of space to use as a background. Let's see. Something stellar. Something, something cool. Space is incredible, by the way. Last night I lit a fire in my backyard. We're just chilling, and uh, or I was chilling. I'm gonna do it again tonight. It's it's just so relaxing. Um, <laughs> I have a hard time explaining, but it's just nice to take time to yourself. Someone asked me on Instagram yesterday, "How do you do this without burning out? How do you do it?" And I just said, you have to you have to take care of yourself a little bit. I'm an introvert. You may not think so, but I'm an introvert. And so I definitely have to take time to myself or I do burn out. I get I, I kind of go crazy. So, all right, let's see if I can steal an image here. Oh, it's not letting me steal it. I'm trying to steal something from 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 the Goog, the Google. All right, let's see if this works now. 
Uh, I should be able to paste. Okay, this is a very weird image. And I'll put this behind everything else. All right, so my drawing has a little bit of that tone now. Um, to kind of make this pop, make it a little bit brighter, what I'm going to have to do is, um, similar to the suggestion that Lines had, but I can tap on this, hit Select, and I'm hoping the selection isn't transparent, but I should be able to just drag and drop. There we go. So just drag and drop some white. If we want it to be you know, more of a gray, we can do that. Um, if we want it to perhaps have a little warmth to it, I can drop it in like so. Cool. So the reason I'm doing that now, and then for the background itself, let's, uh, let's just do some filtering. We can adjust the brightness of the layer. So we can make it a little darker or we can make it brighter. I'm going to make it just a touch darker up my saturation like so. And we can do a couple other, a couple other painty things to kind of help this. So we're just going to keep going. All right. So now the reason I did this is I want to be able to take some colors right from the galaxy here and use this to make my highlights. And I'm going to do the highlights above and below the color. All right, so on this side, let's say we'll do more blue. Or I guess I can just pick from here, just so we're a little bit more accurate. Same, it eh, was a good guess. And so now I'm going to do my highlights with the blue here. And then under here, I would want to have some reds, right? You can also play with the blending mode of layer. I'm going to see how this looks. I'm not sure how the red will show up, but I'm going to switch to add. Yeah, so we get a little, a little bit brighter on those, on those highlights. All right. So once again, if you watch it on the Instagram and you want to get the full feed. I've got all the equipment, the setup, the hookup, the 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 glow up, all of that stuff <laughs> on the YouTube. So you can check that out. So just by pulling picture pulling not pictures, pulling colors from the background, right? I can kind of help this start to feel a bit more. This is just secondary light, secondary light sources. Um, but I can make this feel a bit more like, oh, this is part of the scene here. We also have to get the propulsion system going. So we'll do that. Paint in the cockpit. Add some texture. Remove these Lego, Lego spots as much as we love Lego. All right, little, little highlights here. Make those pop. So the blending mode, like I said, is set to add. And I don't mind the texture of the brush. It's up to however you want it to look. If you want a cleaner look, then you probably just need to execute um, your shading a little cleaner. In addition to this, like if you feel like, oh man, this is too intense. Remember, you can always adjust the opacity of the layer. I'm just gonna block in a little bit of silhouette on the inside of this cockpit. All right, so not going through the trouble of sketching a human. I say trouble because it's something I'm still working at. But I could just add the silhouette here and say, yeah, someone's inside this craft doing something. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're up to no good. Who knows? But there's a silhouette. I'm going to use this also to touch up some some shadows, shadow work here. Contrast is your friend when you're drawing. That's what's going to help your 
work feel three dimensional. So think about where you want to put that contrast and all that good stuff. I say all that good stuff, but <laughs> you know, drawing's really a thoughtful process. Like it's not stressful if you just stay aware and think about, okay, what am, I, what am I actually trying to show here? What am I trying to do? Where's the light coming from? Right? It's not that hard. I mean, it's hard. It's, it's challenging certainly to get better. I, I just mean like when you're thinking about drawing, it's not that hard. Music brought to you, by the way, once again, by the amazing Paul Sohi, friend of mine commissioned him to do some tracks here I think he killed it oh man YouTube's gonna like I bet you they're gonna flag that word killed I'm telling you it's like intense okay so just a little airbrushing on this side now like so all right just to create some shadow Wow, this is like the biggest stream audience I've had so far. I'm like blown away. I've been working hard at this for a year, by the way. Some of you know this, some of you don't. Um, so I appreciate the support, appreciate seeing so many people here. This is really cool. All right, let's go ahead now and group these together. And I should be able to duplicate. Oh, it crashed. Crashed on me. I made Procreate crash. Okay, let's try this again. Duplicate, don't crash. All right, here we go. <laughs> so now I can scale this down, right? Like so. I like putting multiple ships in a scene, um, especially when you've already done the work. In fact, let's go ahead. Oops, wrong thing. Wrong command. Let's go ahead and... Uh, flatten and I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the let's see it's not levels I could do curves uh, but I'll just do hue saturation brightness and then we'll just we'll just drop this one back okay because it's it's not it's not in the main scene right and then I can probably I should have adjusted the saturation as well drop the saturation just a little bit Okay, we can do something like that. So now we've got two ships heading out from who knows where on our on our little sci-fi adventure. I like adding text on my spaceships as well. So let's do just a little bit of that. I'm going to jump to, uh, I could use my inker. I could use this round brush. I'll just use the inker today. And I mentioned the color orange. So if we want to add just some little hits, texture things, not texture, but... Uh, you know, maybe it's like tiny, tiny text or something. Whatever we got to do to touch up. I'm not, uh, how do I say this? Um, like if this were something I was delivering to a client, um, I would definitely spend more time on it. So I'm just trying to move move quickly here for the sake of the stream. But like I said, I'm going to go for about two hours today. That's my plan. We'll see See if I last. I was just in a good, good streaming mood, I guess. I was like, eh, that sounds good. Two hours sounds, sounds like it would be fun. All right, so just using this layer to kind of crisp up a few things. This is a 12.9 inch iPad. Not that it really matters. <laughs> I get that question a lot. Although I did, I did, uh, I was thinking about buying the new iPad Air so I could review it live with you guys or something, unbox and all that, all that stuff. So that could be fun. I 
That could be pretty fun. All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, I was gonna do the boosters. I forgot about that. So let's jump to this layer. And let me think, color-wise. How do I wanna do this? White in the center? Which field of product design is easiest to get into? Footwear, furniture, fashion. When you say get into, what do you mean? Get a job? Charlie says I should do more sci-fi because I need the practice or because you enjoy it. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, I mean, it could be an underhanded comment, you know. Hey, you should do more sci-fi stuff, which is fine too. All right. So for the boosters, I think I'm going to... Just do some blue here. Just make them little booster balls. My brush. Might as well do do this one at the same time. And with a new layer, I can switch to, switch the blending mode. To switch the blending mode on your layer, you just want to tap this little letter right here where I'm pointing with my pencil. Tap that, and then it gives you the options. Okay, so once again tap the letter it's going to be n as a default on your layers but just tap that and then that's going to give you the options uh easiest to get a job i would say i don't know i feel like if i say any of these someone's going to be offended <laughs> because it's like oh my profession's not that easy but i'm going to say footwear And uh, my assessment I'm gonna give in terms of technical skill and ability. Um, with footwear, most of the time you're drawing, um, you're drawing in, in just like a 2D sketch and you're not really, yeah, there we go. You're not, uh, You're not having to figure out perspective and all that stuff. You know, I haven't done the animation features in Procreate yet, and it's a shame. So I'm going to work on that. See if I can. All right. So if, if these boosters are on, we're going to get little glows happening. Okay. So let's make a layer up top here. But we are going to get little glows. Fortunately for me, especially on this one, I have in my sketch a mega pack here, we've got airbrushes. I have this like really cool crisp air and these soft air highlighters. Okay, so let's try these. The reason I like the crisp air is you get a nice crisp line in the middle and a glow. So it's a nice way to, you know, get something like that going. And I don't mind the glow there, the overshoot, at least on that one. This one, I'll probably take it down quite a bit. And then getting back here, just on, did I drop my layer again? I did. All right, we'll just make a new layer, unless Procreate screams at me. Please, I can't handle any more layers, too many. Too many. A bit too intense on that one. Maybe right there. So now when I zoom out, it just feels like a little little hit. I can use color dodge in a blue light and motion blur. Hmm. All right. I'll have to try that out. Let's see. I mean, like in the propulsion here, color dodge and motion blur. Like in my um, practice, I've often avoided color dodge, <laughs> but let's see. Okay. That's kind of cool. Thank you for the tip. And then you said motion blur. I'm happy to try anything. So, oh, interesting. Wait a minute. That was eraser. Okay. Motion blur layer. 
slide to adjust. Oh, how do I rotate the motion blur? See, I can't, can I rotate the motion blur angle? I don't know, I don't wanna mess with it. So I'm just gonna leave it, leave it like so for now. All right, let's jump to uh, my marker brush. Let's just use a few brushes, why not? Again, these are available on the store. Maybe I should talk like a Jamaica on the rest of the show. The rest of the show. All right, so I'm just using my marker brush here now just to tone some of these flat surfaces. I like it because it, it does have this kind of stripey feel to it. But also if I, just like a real marker, if I want some texture, I can just kind of go in get that texture going, right? Just by changing the direction of my stroke. Just like so. All right, so that was all from my son's Lego creation. <laughs> I'm spending way too long on this one. So let's see what we could do with uh, the other submission. A little vehicle. Little vehicle thing that my friend submitted. So one of these days, I don't know when, but I'm gonna let you guys know, hey, for the Sci-Fi Sunday, whatever day that is, let's do a Lego sesh where you guys build something in Lego. We could do that for the week too, but where you guys build something in Lego and then you submit it and I sketch over it. We could do that too. That would be fun. For me anyways, hopefully fun for you guys too. All right, I do wanna clean up a little bit on the Lego underlay. So there's just some little spots. Oh, I guess keep that one. Just some little spots where I may have overpainted or something. Um, ah, there we go. Let's just merge these. Okay. So now I can just erase and clean up a little bit. In here. Let's see, let's switch up the Muzak. Yeah, I'm trying to find some like synth wave. Um, I'm trying to find some synth wave music that I can use royalty free. So I gotta figure that out. All right. Someone on the Instagram is asking, how do you set up your image so that it's not pixelated when you zoom? Well. You just have to make sure you have. You <laughs> Sorry, as my kids. You just have to make sure you have enough resolution. So I think I'm working at 300 DPI or something like that. Um, that's a lazy line. There's a lot in this sketch that's lazy, actually. When I say lazy, I mean, oh, you should take some more time and and figure out your your fillet or whatever it is here or there. Anyhow, so there is our Lego creation. All right. Um, this will be available again to members and patrons. Um, choose your destiny. <laughs> but that will that will be available on the Google Drive for you to download. The cool thing is again with these files in particular is if I go to video and procreate and you guys want to see every stroke that I made and you can scrub through it and see everything, right? It's pretty cool. You can zoom out, zoom in. You get to see how I built this whole thing. In fact, if you want to stop here and be like, man, I like the line sketch better, or I can do better in Spencer, let me let me go here, then 
Yes, you can do that. So that'll be available to patrons. All right, let's do another one. We got, hmm, oh yeah, this vehicle submission from my friend who created this cool thing. So same technique, I'm just gonna make a quick, I don't think I'm gonna do the people as, or sorry, the Lego figures, the minifigs as minifigs in this one. Um, we'll do some tweaking. It's a decent photo. I would have taken it at a different angle, but we'll make it work. We can do some things here. This definitely has like a Mad Max vibe to it almost, I think. Three fingers swipe down allows me to cut and paste. All right, so now I have a nice clean image here. So let's let's make this into some sort of Mad Max-ish thing. All right, let's see what kind of transforms we can do here. I'm going to just start by distorting this. I want it to feel a little bit longer. Um, maybe that's not the best way, though. I could select the front end, for example, and we could drag this out like so. And if I want to make, make this a little wider in terms of perspective. Now, again, this is not to say, hey, It's now in perfect perspective or anything. We're just gonna use this to help us. And I'll have to figure out what's in the middle here. Um, there was another submission actually of this little thing. So I could even take this, see if we can work, work at least parts of it into, I'm gonna copy that, work parts of it into our main sketch. Let's go paste. I guess I could have three three fingers swiped down and hit paste. But yeah, maybe I'm maybe I'll combine this with the rest of our vehicle here. And let's go ahead and keep keep bashing this together. I did the wrong command, so I have to duplicate and now merge that back down, but it's all good, it works. All right, so I've got something here to start with. Let's rotate it just a little bit. And just for the sake of giving myself a bit more space, actually, I guess I can just shrink this thing down. I don't need to resize my canvas. I just had a thought though, maybe this thing is like <clears throat> driving along the edge of some some course or whatever in the desert. And this is like some extreme fall off cliff ravine thing. Right, and the wheels are just like smoking and this wheel's actually turned. I kind of like that. Um, so let's go ahead and modify. Make it so, as Picard would say. What is your guys' favorite sci-fi thing theme? Uh, I'm curious. Favorite show, perhaps? All right, so now I've got some crazy underlay here <laughs> that we can use. Uh, quick tip, get direction of motion blur while you move left or right to just the amount of blur you add. You can also move up and down. Oh, okay. Good to know, Oliver. Thank you. Theory is asking, can you save a Photoshop file from Procreate? Absolutely. You can export a Procreate file just fine. Wow, this is really cool. We almost hit 100 people watching this is amazing this is the best yeah I th i'm gonna create a scene around this this is kind of it's it's feeling very fun um so let's do a couple things like we did last time i'm actually gonna 
Let's see. I need to play with these other filters too that they added in Procreate 5X. I haven't quite done that yet. All right, so let's drop the, the opacity a bit, or sorry, the saturation. And now I can drop the opacity and we're just gonna do the same thing. Um, let's use a different brush this time. Let's see. Doctor Who. Oh yeah, Doctor Who. Actually, I was sad um, in Doctor Who, for those who haven't watched it, and don't spoil it for me, but I was sad. I haven't watched it in a while. The first Doctor, I actually liked him. I forget the actor's name, but I actually liked him. He plays, uh, he plays one of the Dark Elves in Thor. I forgot the name of it. I'm terrible at movie um, character names or even actors' names. Actors, actresses, actor humans, performers' names. I suck at it. Oh, so sci-fi is more like, okay, this is within the realm of possibility. Let's see. Van Davis says... You think of Doctor Who as fantasy, not sci-fi, which is interesting. All right, let's get some wheels in here. And like I said, these, I want them to feel more like they're turning, like this thing's rounding a corner. So I'm gonna throw some axes down here and maybe I'll just go ahead and modify the underlay because otherwise it's gonna kind of trip me up. So to do that, we're just gonna do a um, transform. We'll do freeform, I believe, or distort. I think I can do the same if I just grab a corner, yeah. But <laughs> I made the wrong selection. So I'll go back, select the front portion of this vehicle here, transform, tap the corner. Now I can drag this at least and try and get it somewhat feeling. Like maybe this, maybe this thing's articulated So it can turn right right through here. There's some hinge mechanism or something. So I'll get to that in just a sec. I did a I did a land train once on the stream. This kind of reminds me of it a little bit, but definitely has some sort of Mad Max vibe. I'll just sketch these lines in for now. And I do like this front engine thing, whatever it is. Sometimes the palm rejection in these apps can drive you crazy. Just fair warning. So watch out for that. You may have to tweak things it's not perfect. So now I just redraw, All right? We figured out our placement where we want things to be. Now I can kind of just use this as an underlay in the true sense that now I don't have to think about all the perspective. If I need to bring some details up though, I can always bring up the opacity on that layer. I'm just having a hard time seeing right there what's going on. Thanks, Bradley. Appreciate it. <laughs> wow, 122 now, this is crazy. You and your brother are huge fans of Marvel. Marvel is good. Um, I've watched the Marvel movies way more times than I care to admit, I will say. Partly because my kids love them, but I also appreciate them. All right, so these are just little Lego pieces, right? But now I get to apply my imagination and draw whatever I want. Whatever I want. Maybe these things are connected a little bit of a cyberpunk vibe. I guess I could have I could have made this even steampunk. But I'm not going to do that for this stream. We could do a steampunk Sunday. That would be fun. 
Like, what would a steampunk cyborg look like? It'd be really interesting. So Sketch Day Live, thanks again. If you want to catch the stream in the future, just FYI, I go live most days, but um, you definitely want to hit subscribe, turn on alerts. It's probably your best bet. So now I can start to add add stuff in here. So I did mention I want to go live and I started a during our transportation week I started a drawing of a car that I was going to paint. I will be getting back to that. I'm hoping to just have like a chill paint session with you guys and we'll just just paint and hang out, talk about anything maybe less instructional or instructive and more I guess instructional is the right word. Um, and just more like, hey, let's hang out and paint be fun so if you're like struggling for some inspiration Legos like I said are actually a great way to help you just break the mold so to speak of what you might do because this this isn't isn't even something that I would necessarily have thought of drawing like admittedly sometimes my I'm going to change the shape of the cockpit, though. Um, admittedly, the the way I draw sometimes can be very simple, um, just as an effort to save time. So with the Legos here, it actually helps me um, helps me just mix things up quite a bit. So once again. <laughs> If you're watching on the Instagram, I know this is probably getting old, you guys hearing this over and over, but um, you'll want to check out the YouTube because I have this connector hooked up and it gives you a full view. What's up, Jordan? Welcome. Octavius needs a car. <laughs> I guess so. We could we could do a steampunk day. That'd be fun. Digital and steampunk. And I'm guessing it seems that you guys like the digital sketching. We got a big, big crew watching today, so um, I'm gonna venture to say that there's something about digital that you guys like. All right, so I'll have to figure out the midsection here. I'm gonna redraw this guy. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow him to exist in his current, current state, current form. All right, there it is without the Lego lines, by the way, or the Lego shading. Um, but like I said, or did rather in the spaceship video, sometimes keeping the shading is adv advantageous in that it'll save you, it'll save you time later on. Awesome lines. I'm glad. I'm glad that was helpful. That makes me. That makes me uh, feel very warm inside. Actually, lines says that I made them reach for their pens first time in a long time. So I appreciate that. Do you do mostly digital then? Is that your your jam? So this this piece I'm sketching here. I'm just kind of interpreting it now as okay. Maybe these are some tubes. Right, so I just took that that top piece, the same piece, right, and just how I interpret that now here makes it feel more like okay, this this could be some sort of some sort of exhaust thing, like just crazy Mad Max Fury Road esque stuff going on in here. Oh yeah, so I mentioned I'm an introvert. <laughs> this is true. And uh, I think after this stream, 
which is two hours long because <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to take a nap. I'm going to need maybe a nap or just relax. Just relax for a bit. All right. So even this, even though it's round, I don't have to make it round when I do my overlay. Maybe it's some sort of cooling apparatus even. So I can add these fins, just using it as a guide more than, hey, this is exactly the shape and what's happening and all that. Let's keep it mixed. You made me reach for my pens. Okay, awesome. Glad to hear. Marzi enjoys the digital tutorials. Glad to hear it. All right, oh yeah, here's that little structure that I photoshopped in as well. All right, so this dude's driving. Um, I think I'm gonna have to red line, blue line this portion but, and you'll see what I mean by that in just a sec. Just a quick way of, of layering things out. All right, so we got this cable thing here off the side. This needs a dude. Um, playing a flame throwing guitar on the front affixed to the vehicle with chains that's what needs to happen right here so i'm going to sketch another tube in another thing sometimes you'll see concept artists do is they'll take uh textures kind of like i am with the photo of the lego set here they'll take that those textures and use those as the base and it just saves you a ton of time and then you can paint with um you can paint with whites and blacks, multiply, color burn, color dodge, that kind of thing. So glad to hear it, Oliver. Much appreciated. Much love to everyone. Thank you so much for the support. Definitely means a lot. All right, so just tweaking here. We've got this tube that runs around, but I don't want to use that tube. So I'll use a portion of this tube here. And now just kind of follow these, these little lugs a bit. You know, maybe, or not lugs, but uh, what do you call these ribs? I'll just kind of follow these. So is this something I could come up with my own out of my head? Probably. It just takes a lot longer if you don't have some sort of base to begin with, I think. And uh, certainly nothing wrong with leveraging whatever you have. Again, if you're doing like a dragon or something like that and you made it out of clay, again, I'm not tracing, just redrawing, right? Using what we have here as a guide. And then adding things as we need to finish this out. Thank you, AD. Much appreciated. Is it the Anthony Davis? Could it be? Fresh from their playoff win in the NBA. Yeah, I don't know what changed, but I think YouTube was finally like, oh, okay, we see you streaming every day. Now we'll tell people about your stream. Or <laughs> are you guys all subscribers? Because <laughs> this is the most ever. Or maybe it's just the content's better. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm happy either way. Um, I don't know exactly what's happening here, so I'm just going to fudge it. When I say fudge, whenever whenever you hear me say fudge, I basically just mean kind of fake things 
Oh, I don't need that line. Um, I just mean kind of fake faking things in, making it look plausible without actually figuring out every detail. And I guess a little bit of leaving things up to the imagination of the viewer, which drawing really is for me anyways, a blend of that because I don't I don't strive for hyper realism personally in my practice. Maybe some sort of beacon or thing here. Reminds me of the those um, spy planes, the AWA, AWACS. Reminds me a bit of that. All right, so maybe this is some. Actually, if the perspective is that top down, I would see more of more of this. But don't tell anyone I told you that. Oh, I'm glad you could join theory. Glad you could join. All right, so once again, if you watch it on the the YouTube's and you want the full output. I've got this hooked up to, or sorry, the Instagram. I've got this hooked up to my YouTube, so you can check this out. Uh, I got to pinch this idea. I feel like it would be a good way to give students strong confidence. Absolutely. Um, you know, clay, like I said, or Legos, pieces of wood, whatever you got to do to like help yourself figure things out. I think that's totally fine. Let's do just some like hubcaps instead of rims. I'll just do hubcaps. Actually, these wheels, like I said, um, since since the vehicle is turning, right? And I mentioned, I think I mentioned five point perspective the other day, did I? I think I did. Anyhow, so I'm gonna modify this a little bit. Let's erase my guidelines here. I'll try and stick to the center of these wheels at least, but I'm gonna have to change the shape of the wheel. And do something like, like this. All right, something like this happening with the wheels. Yeah, so the wheels don't turn, but this front unit here actually with its handy dandy pivot, much like a trailer is what turns. This is the the engine up front on our little doohickey here. I've got to come up with a name for this thing. I've already used land train before, but we need a name for this one. So I'm going to rely on you guys to come up with a name. And I'm being super lazy on the wheels as well. Just so you know. All right, I do want to clean up the Lego underlay and maybe drop the opacity just a little bit more here. And now we can kind of see, kind of see what's happening. I was hoping that you would fix that front wheel. Yes, absolutely. Um, so to me, the, the tone behind the sketch is really just about Okay, let me pick the brush, pick the color. Um, the tone behind is just, just for value, not detail. So that's why I can come in and fix this wheel by just painting in a little bit here. And I'll use these values for the most part. Uh, maybe this one I'll change a little bit. Kind of some crazy shapes here, but 
I'm just painting over the photo at this point right here. So it's it's almost like using the gray marker method that we use in sketching. Like I said, I'm going to get rid of this dude in the back. Um, it's almost like using the gray marker method where you use like a light gray marker and then come back over it with your pen or whatnot. <laughs> the fine print on my shirt says melanin facts with serving sizes, electrons, protons, neutrons, other ingredients, sunlight, strength, power, wisdom, knowledge, and love. Melanin nutrition facts. Boom. All right. Thanks again for hanging, guys. This is awesome. I'm having fun. Okay, we got four. Man, we got 40 minutes left. We can do a lot here. We could actually, could we paint this? Could we do a speed painting of this? Maybe. I feel like I'm noodling too much over the wheels, though. All right, back to, I don't remember what brush I was using. Rough Spencil, perhaps? Let's see. Yep, definitely Rough Spencil. Um, this brush is also cool because, much like a regular pencil, you can tilt and shade. All right, so for you YouTubers, I can tilt this pencil and shade if I need to. All right, pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I did mention five point perspective. Yeah, I should probably go over that on some at some point. Um, I'm also learning myself. Learning myself, learning how to interpret, show things, whatnot. Always learning. I may not be I always say this as well. I may not be the best at what I do, but I'm definitely invested in learning and getting better at it. Yeah, if you're looking for perfect, this is definitely not the place to be. If you're looking for passion, you found your home. Because I love doing this. All right. I was supposed to visit some people today, but my introvert brain is like, nope. Don't do it. Stay cozy at home. All right, detail work. Let's try to make sure. All right, let's just do some parallel lines here. So there's, there's certainly a process, a rhyme to the reason, reason to the rhyme here. Um, I've mentioned form, divide, beautify as well. All right, so here as I'm doing these lines, I'll zoom in so you can see. A little bit of an outline, but stupid quick line. A uh, little bit of an outline there, but I'm leaving a little gap. Just subtle details that make a difference and then coming up. Now it depends on the relative position of where you are in perspective. So on this side, now I'm going to start to see a little bit of this happening, right? As we move around the wheel. So that's why I changed that angle ever so slightly. And I'm going to have to fix this. So let's just make a selection. And now I can just pull this out. All right. So I had these two ellipses kind of tapering toward each other. But instead of redrawing it, just a quick transform. 
and then I can feather connect these lines like so. So now it feels better. It's not perfect, but it feels better. So Sketch Day Live, thanks for joining. Make sure you subscribe, turn on alerts if you want to catch the next stream. I am live every Sunday. I'd say most Sundays, unless something goes down, parenting emergency or time constraint or whatnot. Also, daily. I usually take Mondays off and Saturdays, but I think I'll be back tomorrow. I think I'll be back tomorrow. Never forget Broom Broom. <laughs> Jordan's referring to Fan Friday. I took a sketch from Lines and we redrew that. Okay, so new layer. Like I said, I was going to use red blue pencil here. Um, so I'll start with red and I'll show you what I mean. So here, so we have this mini fig. The head is really big and the body is tiny, right? So that feels a little too cartoonish. So what I want to do is just block in the body of a human. You know, maybe maybe they're riding some sort of motorcycle seat thing that's mounted back here. Um, we could have some sort of roll cage type thing back here, perhaps, to protect them. Maybe something like that. It gets mounted. Right, so these red lines just allow me to, to kind of work quickly. And then now, so bodies like that, I'm gonna have the neck going up. And head. Now I guess they're turning so the weight would be shifted, right? And maybe they're Maybe they're hanging on to something right here. So now I can switch to my blue pencil. Because I already have this stuff. Maybe I switch the position of the human and start to sketch in. You know, hey, maybe. Actually, yeah, maybe they're looking this way now. And. I can change the position of chest. Got this arm hanging on. Eh, it feels a little weird right there. I just kind of keep doing this red blue thing, is what I like to do. Also, I have to decide okay, what's this person wearing? What's their outfit? All that stuff. All right. Lots to think about. Hello, Newt Peterson. Oh, person, my bad. Woo. Getting tired, guys. I was up to like, I think 1 a.m. <laughs> this morning. I was uh, I was watching chess. Can you believe that? A reclined chair would be good. Yeah, I could have them reclining this way. Right, legs, maybe here, some sort of steering thing, perhaps, but definitely tilted. Well, you wouldn't tilt into the curve. You'd want to tilt this way, right? Because forces are going that way. So I'll turn off or delete that layer. Um, yeah, so you'd want to... And this looks weird because it makes it look like the person's leaning forward, but that's not what I'm, what I'm doing. All right. Definitely goggles. Red in a desert. Oh, I forgot their pelvis. <laughs> like would their would their hand just be here just chilling as they ride in this this thing? Are they some sort of desert dwelling freak? Who knows? Maybe they eat crickets for lunch. 
Although some people eat crickets, totally fine. All right, I know the relative position of these things is, is fairly off, but I am gonna draw this person holding on to this thing. And let's switch to blue pencil here, because now I want to do... All right, let me think about this. If I were leaning, how would I do it? Like, would you want to put your hand down to stabilize, or are you just one of these crazy people who would... I got to figure out this dude. Um, yeah, maybe he's maybe he's just one of these crazy people. Crazy. Could do a leg. Mm, let's see. All right, I don't have to really do the legs because the view is being obscured here, so I'm not gonna worry about that. But I will do the goggles for sure. Some sort of scarf or something. What do they call these again? These, these COVID scarfs that people are wearing nowadays. I forget, I forget what they call these. Um, And I would go back. Yeah, I gotta figure that out. Dropping a grenade from the cliff down the cliff? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, shoot. I gotta think about perspective. That's actually um, that's a good call out. Even though I know that wasn't your intended call out. So. Just gonna warp this dude and then I'll finish off. We'll redo the hand, don't worry. Yeah, I totally forgot about totally forgot about perspective. Alright, I'm gonna do this person holding on here. They're holding on to something else here. That feels better. I just kinda have this body definitely with the motion going that way and then everything else obscured all right cool feels better just a sec guys quick quick little breaky break Beauregard says, or Theory says, shouldn't he be holding a steering wheel? I guess so, technically, but maybe he's holding a lever instead. Some sort of lever here. And I'll tweak some stuff as well. All right, so now let's drop behind the sketch layer. I'll probably tweak some stuff here. like this uh, tube that I had. I'll have that go behind. I'm gonna do the dude on a different layer. Do the dude on a different layer, just so. 
mind controlled vehicle. Fine, fine. Theory is giving me crap about not having a a steering wheel, so I'll I'll have Is this Octavius? Is this is this Octavius here? Is he back? <laughs> Octavius, our beloved drone control. That's right. Hello, Newt from Sweden. Good to see you. I guess this is good, good practice for this week. We're doing hands or handheld. That's our theme. So why not kick things off with this little steering steering wheel being gripped? Foreshortening's always always tough. Always tough. I don't know what this human's wearing either. I feel like they'd be wearing some maybe ripped or torn, like dystopian outfit. Right? And they'd probably have some utility belt, just because I like utility belts going across. And definitely the head covering of some sort. Facial expressions are always tough too. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. struggle with hairstyle like what hairstyle would this shirtless and war painted I mean I could do that just have like a shirtless war boy style human maybe he's got tattoos on the f on the head of some sort maybe I feel like I'm spending way too long on this though, but it's it's super fun. So, so sketch day live. Thanks again for joining. You know, you may not think of it, drawing live is like it's actually pretty challenging, especially if you're. Um, Let's see, I gotta think about geometry, especially if you're like talking and drawing at the same same time. Not the same time, same time. It's 
really hard. So I don't think I'll get as far as I did on the spaceship with this one, but still pretty fun. And again, this is all from drawing over Legos. So there's many creative ways you can approach drawing. Uh, let's see, helmet usually solves the hair. That's true. I don't really want him wearing a helmet though. Theory is my creative director today. I appreciate your your comments. You've had some great suggestions, so thank you. I would have neglected the steering wheel entirely. Although, yeah, I would have neglected the steering wheel. I was gonna make this a, a, a cabin of some sort, but then I realized, oh shoot, this dude is so big. Um, there's actually no way he would fit in here. Maybe I should shrink him a little bit. I think he should be smaller, you know? Definitely smaller because of perspective, but I'll tweak it once, I, once I'm to a place where I feel okay with what's being drawn. Okay, so steering wheel here. Some of this I'll just fudge, frankly. All right, so now maybe the steering wheel connects somewhere down in here. We don't know where, but it connects somewhere down in there. That's where it is. <laughs> All right, so now let's just clean up a little bit of the line work. He's very skinny as well, this bald guy, because in the future, I mean, imagine, imagine living off desert crickets maybe he has no eyebrows either but imagine if you had to live off desert crickets is that even a thing and uh, scorpions things like that It'd be kind of rough never eat sand though I'm just saying never never eat sand it's not gonna end well Oh yeah, utility, little utility belt or something, or maybe it's just some weird quasi seat belt thing. Who knows? I'm not gonna draw the seat. Maybe just a little bit of black through here. But I don't have to go into detail of the seat. I can imagine what this tube looks like as it rounds the vehicle. Maybe carry that through. And since it's off on the other side, I'm not gonna put a ton of detail there. All right, so let's finish up our scene. In the last 15 minutes here, this has been a marathon session. Fun nonetheless. So we'll finish up here and then I'm gonna go have some lunch, relax for a bit. I'm back to work. I've got some updates to make on the website this week. I'm going to be posting some information about uh, books that I like, why I like them, where to get them. It's also a question I get quite a bit. What books do you recommend? So that's what I'm going to do. Like we do here, always improving, always trying to make things better for you guys. All right, I just need to grab this color. We'll see why in just a sec, let's drop this back down. And now, uh, back to sketch day one, I've got this round brush, so I can just kind of fill in any spots that need additional value or shading, things like that.
any additions we made to the sketch as well, just like I would with my gray marker. Uh, maybe the cricket car for the name of the vehicle. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, so let's do let's do desert mountain pass driving scene. Let's do that. And I will add some color on that, but I'll have the lines helping me out here as well. So if this guy's coming down somewhere, perspective's gonna look interesting, right? So I'm just gonna throw these lines in now. Maybe this piece broke off or something. All right, because I want to create the feeling, which can be can be difficult. But this indeed does go down, All right? So maybe some river down here. This is perhaps at the limit of. your field of view. So it's a bit tricky in terms of how do I how do I show this in a way that feels compelling, right? So we'll get there. Don't worry. Sometimes apologies, but sometimes I zoom out on the canvas itself, even though you guys are probably like, Oh, I can't see. Sorry, Newt. Take care. Thanks for joining. Um, sometimes it's like, oh man, I can't see what you're doing because it's so small. But when you make it small, it allows you to kind of work in a gestural way and just make sure you're hitting the right, um, getting the right feeling from your sketch. So now I can zoom in and be like, okay, does this feel right you know if, if it's coming down this way yeah feels pretty good and now i will continue to just kind of sketch in lines for these these rocks if you want to draw rocks you got to practice drawing rocks so um i'm feeling a little bit rusty with my rocks but Thankfully, I live in a desert. That's why I do a lot of desert scenes, I think. Um, live in a desert. It's beautiful. We see a lot of cool stuff here. So the High Uintas, it's called. All right, maybe this curves, curves back around or something. All right, so let's hide or delete that initial sketch because I don't need it. And I'm gonna go ahead and modify some of these lines. So again, with the warp tool, if something's out of place, you can always tweak it. You know, if we don't like something. So you can warp things and then, you know, hey, now I have a bit more extreme perspective here of where our, our dude in his desert cricket, that should be the name of the vehicle. It should be like the desert cricket um, where he's coming around the corner, all right? I didn't finish drawing the front. <laughs> and there I was like, yes finally far enough along I can start adding color okay let's just finish the front here um, I think I'm gonna do yeah I'll do some sort of exhaust things coming off the front here let's do eight, yeah eight of these just keep them keep them simple
And I'm not going to worry about the other side intentionally, just a little trick on my part to save me some time. It's like, yeah, I don't want to have to go back and do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Do you remember that uh, clip? Man, the glory days of the internet. Ain't nobody got time for that. Was that lady, I think it was uh, the, the apartment building burnt down. She was outside and they were interviewing her. Some of you probably know what I'm talking about. Some of you don't, but hilarious. Hilarious. Okay. So again, this is all from Legos. Doing our Lego redraw here. Digital. I do, I do tend to work slower digitally than I do with markers. I will say that. Why am I shading with, with this pen? Why am I hatching? I don't need to hatch. We'll just move a little quicker. Maybe I'll hatch the wheels though. All right, so we got that now. Woo, it's a lot of work. Tacos, ain't no one got time for that. <laughs> Anybody got, oh, ain't no one got limes for that. <laughs> I like that. It feels like he's not got enough clearance on the path behind him to get where he is. Oh, you mean the vertical clearance? Yeah, so I was thinking about that. Maybe this is some rock overhang. So if if this is the cliff side, right, maybe there's like a little rock overhang and the car, the vehicle, right, where he's, he's like going under this overhang. So also in addition to that, it could be such that the path is actually curving down. So I'm okay with it. I see what you're saying. Lions is talking about this little spot right here. I see what you're saying, but that's the way I, I think about it. It is harder to do. Uh, it is harder to undo with markers, indeed. But that's also one of the things I do love about markers. All right, so let's make this easy on ourselves. Somewhat easy. Let me think here. I'm trying to think of a way to do this. Um, well, my phone is being used by Instagram right now. Otherwise, I would take a picture. I guess I could. Could I do that? No, nah, I don't need to do it. All right. So <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'm going to go ahead and make the background color a certain color here. Um, let's go a little bit more orange, something like that. Hit done. Okay. And that gives me some base tone to work with. I've got the vehicle tone already. So now on top of all this, I just need to, I'll just use the real marker today and we'll keep this, we'll keep it trill. Let's make this multiply. Did that work? Yes. It worked, it worked. All right. So now I can kind of tone this vehicle pretty quickly with this marker brush. Um, and I do like it because it does have a bit of pressure sensitivity blend to it. So again, if you want to check these out and build up, head to sketchaday.com. I got to resist trying to do surface finishes right now. We'll just keep it, keep it quick. I am more of a line artist than a painter, so I do rely on my lines quite a bit when I'm showing form. That's why I take so long when I'm doing that stuff. It's like, okay, I just want to make sure the lines look good. Because for me, when the lines look good, and I don't mean lines in the chat, although it's good if you're looking good. It always feels good when you look good. Um, <laughs> What I mean to say is if the lines are good, adding the color is only going to make the whole thing look better. If your lines look bad, no matter what you do, adding color will not help you out. Okay, So that's kind of why I use lines quite a bit in my sketching. 
All right, so a little bit of marker here. Just kind of shade these wheels in. Um, I'll keep this just as a kind of a tonal drawing. I'm not adding any detail on the far side, even though I could. And again, this is all with the marker brush. All right, sketch a day live. Thanks guys for joining. Full house today. I think this is my biggest live ever. So thank you very much. If it's your first time, make sure you hit subscribe, turn on alerts, catch me next time, catch me outside, all of that. Appreciate your support. Thanks to the patrons and members of our channel. Because of you, I'm able to make the show better and better. All right. Sorry about the mic. Hopefully it's not too loud now. I don't know. Maybe it is. I'm going to have to go back and listen to listen to all this when I'm done. Faux show. So yeah, just, just quick hits here. Right. And again, zooming out just allows me to kind of get the broad strokes in, be a bit more gestural. It kind of forces you to... Uh, I'm trying to think of a better word than chunky, but just be a bit chunky in your color application up front, and then you can spend time with the details after. All right. Let's get some shadow on these fingers, and I can leverage the color of the background of the paper here for the hand. Or not paper, but canvas. So little tricks, little things help you move fairly quickly. I don't love spending tons of time on one sketch unless someone's paying me for it. <laughs> so I tend to be more sketchy, but I can, I can. But like I said, who knows? Maybe I'll surprise you guys with another stream later, some painting if I'm feeling up for it. But if not, definitely this week, we'll get into a little bit of painting, the theme as well for the weekly sketch challenge that we do here on the channel is gonna be handheld. And we're focusing on pens. So I'm gonna do a bit of ballpoint, do a bit of uh, paper mate, do some Sharpie, just pen sketching. I don't even know if I'm gonna do markers. Although do, markers, markers are kind of like pens. If you think about it, they're kind of like pens, right? All right, so we got some dark tones. I haven't even added the highlights yet on this thing. I haven't even gotten to highlights yet. So let's throw some in. Um, I think I'm going to use a pale blue. Uh, Something like this, and then let's switch the blending mode to add. We'll also play with the opacity on the layer. But now I'm trying to think of, okay, where are we gonna get our highlights, reflected light, all that stuff happening. So yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna crank the opacity down, just working working quick and hot for now. Lightest lights against darkest darks, that contrast is what's gonna give you your communication on your forms. And this is a bit of the conundrum. Sometimes you do apply those strokes and it's like, oh yeah, that looks good, and then you adjust the layer. And it's like, oh crap. Somebody's at my door. I don't know who. Hopefully my kids don't let in some person who's gonna cause us harm. You never know. 2020 man, it's crazy. Could be could be anyone at the door. Although I think it's just neighbor, neighbor person. 
neighbor child friend all right so yeah I could I could keep going on this design education says level of detail wow we could keep going but I don't want to keep going <laughs> um, so I'll just hit this with some darks on the actual ground um, make it a little bit more saturated here and there and I think I'm gonna call it good for today so but we did it two hours just hanging chilling sketch a day and chill if you will family approved chilling by the way this is a family show for the most part <laughs> uh, even though YouTube makes you decide is this for children or not is this a children's show when you go to stream I'm curious. I mean, we're we're all kind of streamers now that we are in this phase of well, how how would I how do I put it? We're in this phase of um uncertainty. Right? So we're all kind of streamers. Would you guys be interested in more information about how to stream? Not necessarily on YouTube, but just, you know, best practices for things like camera setup or, um, you know, things like that. Is that something that would be interesting to you? What, what the H am I doing? Okay. Let's get on the right layer, people. Let's get on the freaking right layer. Um, the reason I say that is I have <laughs> I've invested a lot and um, also through a lot of trial and error just figured out some best practices at least that work for me terms of sound or audiovisual lighting all of that good stuff so if that's something you'd be interested in let me know informal scientific feedback poll live on the stream but yes we've all been kind of turned into streamers if you will oh you're gonna stream uh, from your van Danny nice <clears throat> nice, nice. Thanks, Theory. Uh, Alliance is definitely starting to, starting to look like my lessons will need to be online for the long term. No worries, Theory. Thanks for hanging out. Theory, Theory, Clyde, Ahmad, Design Education. Thank you, Latrice. Love you. You're awesome. Thanks for the support. Yeah, there's... <laughs> As I look at this drawing, I'm like, there's so much I can and want to do, but time, you know. So shadows, for example, just a quick, and I don't know, maybe I'll finish this later today, but I'm like starting to feel it. But shadows, for example, kind of want those to be, is this the right layer? All right, kind of want these to, to have a bluish tone, so I would probably do some sort of warm, cool blue. Um, the sky actually needs to be bit brighter here right and then some of these rocks that are facing up would have blue tones as well and then I would come back in and add some more to the vehicle itself so a lot we could do here for sure I right. Thanks again for joining, guys. This has been incredible. Um, I am blown away, honored, flabbergasted, uh, impressed that there's just so many, so many people watching today. So many people. Should I do multiply? Uh, sometimes I play blending modes as well, just to kind of see what you get. But I think I'm going to keep it on normal. 
Let's keep it on normal for now. Um, but yeah, I need to... I'm going to need to rest and recuperate after all of this, so... Yeah, because I want to add color to this and whatnot, but... Not right now. I'm done. <laughs> um, just a couple other things, though. If I wanted to, I keep saying this. Yeah, just a little bit more, you know, texture-wise. Sometimes what I'll do is just add a little, little speckle in there. Yeah, I'll get that texture up in the drawing. Um, and then as far as lighting goes, for sure, I would... Uh... <laughs> I'd go ahead and light this as well, make it a little bit more dynamic. All right, guys, I'm going to call it because I am exhausted. Um, we've been going for two hours and seven minutes. Um, probably something I'll finish up later. Maybe not. We'll see. Just depends on how I feel. Um, hello, Seisman. Welcome back. Um, but we are wrapping up. So kick things off today with our spaceship. Again, this is just from Lego uh, photos, pieces, whatever. Try it out for yourself, see how it goes. Um, again, members and patrons will get access to the video here. Or not video, but the file. So if you want to do your own time-lapse replay and see everything we did today, you'll be able to see that, right? And you can scrub through it if you want, back and forth. See the line work, see how we put that together, okay? You can do the same thing with the other drawing as well. These will be uploaded. I, I typically upload a PSD and Procreate file for you, so you can download either version. Um, this one's unfinished, but like I said, maybe I'll tweak it and upload a bit later. But in any case, you'll be able to see, here's the time-lapse replay of us kind of hacking, <laughs> hacking our Legos apart in photo form and adding some detail. I did spend way too much time on this, but you know, needs more work for sure. But I'm tired, I'm done. I need a nap, I need some rest, I need to eat and haven't eaten today. Hello, Tommy Peterson and goodbye, because <laughs> this is the end of the stream. <laughs> but yes, thank you everyone for watching. This was fun. Um, I'm so exhausted. But I had a ton of fun. Thank you for being here. This has been our biggest stream ever. Continue to share, please. Uh, tell your friends, join the stream, sign up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. It means a lot um, that you believe in what I'm doing here. And hopefully you learn something. If you learn something, definitely share. And if you're looking to support, being here is the best thing you can do. But definitely check out the website. And if you're interested in some of the perks, you can check out the membership for the channel as well as patreon.com slash sketchaday. <laughs> yeah, patreon.com slash sketchaday. Tommy Peterson seems to have sat on his keyboard. Keyboard. Thanks, Jay. Much appreciated. Thanks, Marzi, Tom, or Tommy, uh, Oliver, Lyon, Seisman, Latrice, as always. Design education, Oliver. Shoutouts to everyone. Theory, thanks for hanging. Newt, chat was awesome. Jordan. All the Patreons, love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And remember, passion is the process. If you love what you do and do what you love, you'll be all right. If you're not having fun, you're probably doing it wrong, all right? Well, thanks, guys. Take care, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow right here on Sketch Day. Peace and love. <laughs>